Okay, here you have zero time. Let's just show you what people might try to do to make you believe that the particles are actually eternal. And I'm going to show you that's impossible. They'll place the particle here in zero time. Here you have one positive number, one nanosecond expansion going up. Two nanoseconds, so on and so on. Here, on this side, above zero, you have the expansion taking place. Here, above zero, you have positive numbers taking place. Here, above zero, right here, is where the expansion and the Big Bang occurred. So, let's say this particle is here, right? So here above zero, so right here, right above zero, right here. Right above zero, zero time, one nanosecond after zero time. Positive number, not negative number. Positive number, the particle comes into existence one nanosecond after the Big Bang. And expands that way, creating a positive expansion of positive 2, positive 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. So the, the expansion rate goes up and it takes place here. Okay. The universe is created over here and expands. Now Over here you have the expansion and the creation of the space. You have the expansion and the creation of, of uh, matter. Energy particles. And obviously again, expansion of space. All of this takes place right inside here. All right. So, to prove that the particle cannot be eternal, you realize that the particle cannot exist here. It only goes up. Positive. Your positive numbers are going to be going like this. One, two, three, Four in that direction, one, positive two, positive three, positive four, positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four. It's expanding in all directions in a positive way, not towards a negative way before zero time. Okay? So all this occurs after zero time, and all the numbers are obviously positive numbers no negative numbers the singularity point could not regress back past zero time it cannot go this way the singularity point cannot pass this point right here it cannot pass it one nanosecond positive number before zero time that's why it's called a singularity point, a single point of existence. Now, these other numbers that go be beneath the zero time, these are considered mathematical imaginary numbers. In the real world, these numbers do not apply. In the real world, it doesn't work.
you could I could make it look like this particle actually exists here because I placed it there. Why? Because zero does exist. I could place it over here in negative. Right here, I could place it here in the negative zone, not in the positive zone. Because mathematically, I could do that. They're imaginary numbers. These are imaginary numbers. Okay? When using mathematics, you could create a state of infinity. And you could create particles in a state of infinity, eternal states. But in real life, you can't use numbers. These numbers do not exist in the real life. Everything turns real in a positive way with positive numbers. I'll show you what, what I mean a little bit. So basically I'm just trying to point out that the particle cannot regress, it cannot regress past, past zero time and go towards and regress towards negative numbers. You cannot pass and regress past zero time. These negative square root numbers, these negative square root numbers do not exist in the real world. These are mathematical imaginary numbers. You could create curves, you could create infinity, you could create circles and create loops, eternal loops with imaginary numbers and make it seem like this particle exists forever. For example, let's take this for example. Let's say, we're going to use negative numbers here. Okay, let's just say, if you have three bricks, alright, Using real numbers, how many bricks do you have? You have one real number, you have two real numbers, you have three. So you actually have three bricks using real numbers. Now, if you use imaginary numbers, yet yeah, use the same bricks and you add up the numbers, what do you get? Well, let's find out. Just to show you what I mean. If you use zero here, like this zero, zero time, just to show you, just to show you, you cannot regress past, past zero. You're going back, and you, you cannot go beyond zero time in real life. You got to go to a finite number, a real number, which is one. One, not negative one. Not zero, one. Now, if you have your zero here, and you use negative one here, and over here, what do you have automatically? What's, what's negative one here? This must be one here, positive one. Okay? So, if you add these bricks together, Using imaginary numbers, once again, what do you get? Negative 1 plus 1 equals 